the policymakers certainly did uh, try and take some of the uh, momentum out of the currency. But as you can see, it hasn't stopped it appreciating. And some of the underlying fundamentals remain pretty robust. Uh, China will still be generating a pretty sizable uh, external balance surplus. So we upside in the currency. But to be honest, we are starting to look far more broadly than that because there are a lot of currencies in Asia that have been uh, beaten up quite badly in, in recent uh, months. And so, you know, while we've been defensive uh, for, for several months now, we're starting to see some of those dollar crosses elsewhere uh, retrace back towards the, uh, the highs against the dollar. And so we see a much broader opportunity set beginning to emerge. And if you were to characterize it, we're essentially getting our Christmas shopping list out and starting to look across the region for those uh, other currencies, potentially, you know, the Indonesian rupiah, uh, the South Korean won, where there's some interesting uh, shifts in dynamics uh, going on there. Other currencies in, in the region that have maybe slightly different uh, drivers, you know, in Thailand, the re reopening of the economy there may be starting to provide uh, some support as tourism very gradually begins to recover. There may be a much broader opportunity set. And the problem now at the moment is that, you know, if I were to tell you, you know, there's a lot of risk factors need to be defensive. Frankly, there's nothing smart about that. Uh, everyone has that view. Everyone is being defensive. As you go into the end of the year, investors are very, very reluctant uh, to take risk at the moment. Market liquidity is maybe tightening a bit. So I see some good opportunities going into the end of this month. Uh, the trade may be a little bit against the market. Find some of these beaten up assets and, and be able to sort of put some risk back on going into the start of the year where we know investors have built up cash balances that will be deployed in markets and Asia still looks very good relative to other global markets.